Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's Supplemental Numismatic News and Information for the 30th day of August 2022, I'd like to welcome you over to the United States Mint and check out what's dropping today. Ooh, and I got my video for tomorrow about the 2023 quarter designs. Ooh, I'm working on something I can't wait to show you. Now, over here, today is August 30th. That's right, is the American Innovation $1 coin 2022 rolls and bags featuring Tennessee. That's the Tennessee Valley Authority. That's the innovation right there. And this is the final drop for the American Innovation clad coins. At the very end of the year, you're going to be seeing here that the, um, well, on November 14th, the American Innovation $1 2022 reverse proof set drops. And that's going to have a mintage of about 50 thousand so that's gonna be really cool um now let's get over here to the product itself now this is the tennessee valley authority um there it is where ah yes now we got the barn in the background the rolling hills uh the house looks like the shed and then you see those power lines up there all right this is very cool very cool and this is before they learned to bury them underground but yeah that was pretty much state-of-the-art back in the day. Now, this product will be dropping at noon today. It's the American Innovation honoring uh, Tennessee. Coins are minted at the United States Mint in Denver and Philadelphia, available in 25-coin rolls and 10 uh, or 100-coin bags. Now, here's the mintages. Um, the 25-coin roll from Denver, and it's gonna, it should be loading here. I'm not sure why. And the winner is Slow Computer. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Let's go ahead and reload. There it is. So the mintage is 70.20 for the coin rolls. And let's see for the 100 coin bags. And that is 27.90. Now, these may or may not become unavailable today, but I would suspect through the mint's behavior in the past that these will come back in probably a couple thousand for the rolls and maybe a couple hundred in the bag department or maybe even a thousand bags. Um, not sure, but this is definitely interesting. And one thing the Mint did say earlier on in the year is that these American innovation coins were all spoken for through enrollments. But one thing we haven't noticed, um, like we did notice for the American Women Quarters, is that enrollments were capped for the American Women Quarters and not the American innovation coins when they have been sold out and there's very few for the public. So really, um, why the different um, actions for the American innovation enrollments as where uh, compared to the american women quarters uh enrollments i think that's a video for a whole nother day now like i said this is coming out today um what's interesting is the um the 100 coin bag now people often ask what is the difference between the 100 coin bag and the um the roll well the roll okay generally won't feature coins that are off like 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 off like off center or miss strike where um it'll be blown out on this side right here okay um they'll all fit in the roll so people are generally hoping for more errors in the um in the bags and what's interesting is in the kentucky bluegrass quarters or uh, american innovation dollars somebody had purchased loads and loads of the bags now that could be because kentucky has having their bluegrass festival coming up and they may be using those dollars there but if not maybe somebody has come across an error on those kentucky bluegrass dollars now it says here the united states mint american innovation one dollar coin program is a multi-year series honoring innovation and innovators with one dollar coins from each state district of columbia puerto rico guam american samoa u.s virgin islands and the northern mariana islands the american innovation one dollar coins in the rolls and bags have uncirculated finishes and were minted at the philadelphia and denver mints the tennessee coin is the fourth of 2022 and let's face it because this coin has a lot of dead space on it it is tough to get in a high grade look at all that open space on the other side of those device right there that's amazing now it says here the american innovation one dollar coin representing tennessee recognizes the formation of the tennessee Valley Authority, that's the TVA. Congress created the TVA in 1933 to construct transmission lines to serve farms and villages that were not otherwise supplied with electricity at reasonable rates. This American Innovation $1 coin bag from Tennessee contains 100 coins with the uncirculated finishes minted at the Philadelphia Mint. Now we already know that because we're asking about it here. All right, because it does change for each one. This American Innovation, Tennessee, uh, the reverse tails design features a Tennessee farm with newly installed power lines lining the road. Inscriptions are United States America, Tennessee Valley Authority, and 
Tennessee. The obverse, that's the head designs, features a dramatic representation of the Statue of Liberty in profile with the inscriptions in God We Trust and One Dollar. It also includes a privy mark of a stylized gear representing industry and innovation. Now, the year of the minting mint mark and E Pluribus Unum are incused on the edge of the coin. And sometimes these edges that you see here um, it, make an impact on them. And, and we're seeing those kinds of errors on there. And sometimes we're seeing additional stars as well. Now this stylized gear, not really can't show it to you there, but it changes every single year. And uh, this particular year has the most, most teeth in the gear of all of them so far. Now here we go, it's a $1 coin, it's uncirculated, 6% zinc, 3.5% manganese, Two and a half, two percent nickel, and the rest balance is copper. It's eight point one grams, one point zero four three inches round, twenty six point four nine millimeters. Got the lettered edge, Philadelphia mint mark, and that stylized gear. So, hopefully, you'll be able to uh, join us this morning when the uh, coins and the bags, uh, well, rolls and bags drop at noon. Um, not really worried about this one selling out in a matter of seconds. I uh, don't really suspect that, but I will. I do wonder how many are available uh, right now. Let me go ahead and hit Control uh, F and the data. Whoops, there's the data available. We're looking at 2,790 when they said, yep, 2,790. So it looks like they have not um, shown the difference between enrollments and product limits. And I think that's about it for us today, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're going to see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a silver stacker.